Okay, so this is a crypto mining rig, uh, GPU powered, running right now, uh, it's mining uh, Ethereum. What do we have here? We have uh, six NVIDIA RTX 3090 graphics cards. Those are currently top of the line. Um, these are the MSI Gaming X Trio editions. They have, you know, better VRAMs, better capacitors, um, significantly enhanced cooling. They're pretty large format cards. I think they're the largest graphics cards ever made. Um, I have an Asus Z390A motherboard. It's a pretty cheap motherboard. An Intel i5 9600 processor. I think it's a six core, but it's you know it's cheap. The motherboard I think was like 200. The processor maybe like 160, 200, something like that. It was pretty cheap overall. Um, 16 gigs of RAM. DDR4, um, PC2400, uh, got an eight Samsung 860 Pro uh, SSD, 256 gig there. And um, this is a Veda 8 GPU aluminum chassis. It comes out of China, ships from Shanghai, it's sold on eBay. Um, these are Corsair AF120 fans that I put in. The chassis didn't come with the fans, but it did come with these brackets that kind of daisy chain the fans together. Um, I put in a little tiny fan controller, just a fan hub here that's SATA powered. I got that off of Amazon, it was like $7. Um, and then I have some PCI Express risers, so it, it's a PCI uh, one lane adapter uh, slot insert. It has a USB 3 adapter on it. And they rise up to a 16 lane adapter up here uh, you need to add additional power to those uh, risers it's a six pin PCI Express power connector on the riser that draws up to 75 watts through the riser so you need to add external power to that um, each of these cards has three eight pin PCI Express connectors which is typically abnormal normally you only have two eight pins or two six pins but this is three eight pins per card um, we're running here three power supplies, two, two 1500 watt uh, thermal take power supplies, and then one uh, main gear 1200 watt. That main gear 1200 right now is just powering the PCI Express risers. Um, that's all it's doing. The, the two 1500s are powering the motherboard and all the graphics cards. Uh, I installed a custom power switch right here. This is just an aluminum uh, L bracket that I made and drilled a hole in and put a power switch. Got that on Amazon, the switch on Amazon. This is my reset switch right here. It's pretty ghetto, but it works. Um, this is a 1024-768 touchscreen HDMI monitor. It was $54 on Amazon, running Windows 10 professional so that you can connect to it through remote desktop because the home edition of Windows doesn't come with remote desktop. Um, this app is G Miner. It's the G Miner app, and I'm running no dev fee on here as well, which basically injects my deposit address anytime that this application tries to uh, take its one percent cut for the developer. It injects my address, so you know, basically cuts the developer out of the transaction. Um, I have some Asus Asus mining software on here, which basically just monitors your. Um, graphics cards, it'll restart the, the uh, computer if there's any issues, it auto starts your mining program and your bat file here that has your deposit address and all of your configuration. Um, so that's that little app and then I'm running, um, I've got MSI Afterburner on here which is running, I'm running a, a plus 1300 megahertz overclock on the memory, fan speed at 100. Uh, the core clock, I throttled it back 502 megahertz, so I went all the way to the all the way to the bottom as far as I could go on the uh, on the uh, core clock because the GPU core isn't really used um, for for mining. It's us it's it's more of the memory than than the core. Plus four percent overvolts and a power limit of 102 percent, just to be able to provide those cars with the necessary power that they need with the overclocks that I'm running. You know, um, I'm on three. I'm on two separate circuits here. I got this one running into the bathroom. 
Um, and then I have that main gear, uh, 1200 watt power supply and a thermal take 1500 running off of that 20 amp circuit right there. Uh, the main gear is only pulling uh, about 260 watts and the uh, 1500 watts pulling about 1300 from the wall. But that single circuit will support up to 2400 watts total. And then I bought this uh, $480 air conditioner from Lowe's and I just ran like a little uh, vent to the window. I got a little window, window vent there and I just insulated it with a blanket for ex extra insulation. Um, I have this set to 70 degrees, but the room actually doesn't go below 72. I have a Nest um, thermostat node right here and it tells me the room's at 72. So that thing will keep it at 72, but not below 72, it won't. Because the thermal output of this rig is just insane. It just puts out, just puts out so many BTUs, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, but that's the rig. And then the cost, let's see. Um, so I have six cards in this rig. I have another two in my principal desktop. The two in my desktop are on water cooling. Um, but all total with you know the eight cards and all this hardware that I bought, uh, is twenty thousand dollars plus you know five hundred for that thing basically four hundred eighty plus tax for that. Um, and I'm drawing total for all eight cards. This system plus my desktop plus this air conditioner about 30 let's see almost 4000 watts total almost 4000 total right so it's going to be about 230 to 250 dollars a month extra on my power bill but um this system with the six cards plus the two that i have on my desktop it's doing about 3300 dollars a month in ethereum so it's you know it's pretty legit it's pretty legit yeah, that's it.